Right guys, welcome to a vlog. It's been a long, long time. Um, I'm with my mate Chris, he's another PT down the gym. I'm just driving to Black Country Barbell now. I'm not sure what the audio is gonna be like, so I'm not, I haven't got the mic on the camera at the moment, but yeah, I just thought I'd jump on now and just welcome the video. Um, got the blue one, if you know, you know. We're trying to open it one-handed, the old classic challenge. Chris never done this before, but he, apparently he's got shit nails, so he can't do it, but yeah. So, plan is today to hit some PBs. Um, we're going to Black Country Barbell because we like to mix it up now and again. And also it's just a sick gym in general. Um, plan is to do my two main lifts I want to really get PBs on and focus on today are the dumbbell flat press and chest press and the hip thrust. So we're going to see what we get on with. I'm hoping to do the 46s for six, but Chris just said and then reminded me, I don't know whether they've actually got 46s down there. Um, so we might be able to do the 47 and a half kilo dumbbells, but I'll judge that based on my warm up. So I kind of do auto regulated programming. So I base my rep ranges on how I feel when I get into the gym and during my warm up sets. But ideally as well with a hip thrust, I'd love to hit 180. I got 12 last time for one eight, on 108 kilo. So I'm shooting for the 15, but I think that'll be a bit of a challenge today. But we'll see how we get on. Just gonna take you through it basically. And yeah, I'm doing full body at the moment. Uh, Chris is doing, what are you doing? Uh, push. So he's doing push with a shoulder focus. And yeah, that's pretty much it really. But yeah, it's good to be back on the old YouTube. I'll try and do this one and it's really not fucking, it's actually quite difficult. He's <laughs> <laughs> bitching out. It's really difficult. Here we go, here we go, he's done it. Here we go. Oh yes. <laughs> That's the plan, basically. I'll probably pick up with you guys when we get in the gym. Um, and hope you enjoy the video. If you do, drop it a like and make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna try and hit 500 subscribers this year. Um, I'm gonna start really producing some more content. So, fingers crossed we get there, and yeah. Right then, so we did the 40s, they felt okay. I've actually switched over to the rubber ones. So we're on these here. Now these look pretty chunky, I ain't gonna lie. So, we're gonna see how this goes. It's gonna either work or it's not, so I'm just gonna give it a crack. Last time I got 46 for two sets of five at another gym, so pretty confident I'll hopefully get three or four out and that'll be a real good PB then, since my goal is to press the 50s. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, wish me luck. Good, that. Was that four? Yeah. yeah. Good, man. That was gnarly, that. Oh, 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 I was man. pressing it so slowly because I was like, I want to make sure this is good yeah, and yeah. tight. You got it, man. It was moving. It slowed down, but it was moving. I slowed it down purposely. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Good, man. That's got to be an all time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right then guys, so that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's nothing too valuable, so to speak, but it's kind of just a little vlog, kind of me getting momentum going for the channel again. And I know I said in like a few videos back or literally one or two videos ago that I was gonna get up back on the horse, so to speak, and kind of like get back on the YouTube game. But I've got this kind of dilemma, which is like, I really like producing at a higher standard of quality because obviously my, I do a bit of videography. So when I do videos for weddings, they're not shit. They're obviously like a high standard. But to try and replicate that when you're on your own, like because obviously I'm behind the camera when I'm doing weddings, it's really difficult because I've got I haven't got a videographer who like follows me around or shit. So like, and also my life kind of is quite repetitive. Like I go to like most people, I just get up, go to work, do my shit, and then go home. So like, there's nothing to really vlog about or do. So like, I kind of just need to stop procrastinating in my head. Like because really these are just excuses, and I need to kind of find some way of getting consistent content out. So fuck knows what I'm going to do but I need to kind of come up with a strategy and one of those strategies is I'm going to try and get one formal video done a week so like that could be just breaking down an exercise or me just breaking down a certain topic and kind of helping you guys understand something um, it could be an exercise tutorial whatever it could be and then some vloggy kind of stuff which is kind of less quality but more like just personable I suppose but um, yeah oh I'm out of breath I'm not used to it uh, that's what she said um, but yeah, I'm just, I just want these vlogs to portray my personality more because at the end of the day, I've literally got my hand against the windowsill so it doesn't uh, wobble as much. Um, I want these vlogs to basically portray who I am as a real person and allow you guys to get to know me, like me and trust me basically because that's what it's all about. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that's what it's all about in business when it comes to selling to people online, for example, or just building an audience or just building friendships is no like and trust. So yeah. That's why I'm rolling forward with the YouTube channel because I know it's a massive um, platform and I really want to grow on it and I enjoy creating as well. I do enjoy the challenge and I do enjoy editing videos and stuff, especially like more uh, higher level ones, so to speak. So yeah, expect some more content and hopefully that wasn't too waffly and I hope you enjoy the future content. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because your boy is going to be back on his content game. So yeah, that's me waffled out.